climate catastrophe is pushed to the back seat in the cycle of conflict and energy problems. As Russia resumed its supply of natural gas to Germany after weeks of what it called maintenance on its Nord Stream 1 pipeline, leaders in Berlin breathed a sigh of relief. A day earlier, U.S. President Joe Biden chose to defer declaring a climate emergency, which could have unleashed a wave of resources to fight the crisis, despite his opponents tarp doing his plans. At the same time, Europe more widely is devouring enormous amounts of liquefied natural gas, a harmful fossil fuel, imported from the U.S. and other allies to temper its reliance on Russian energy. Europe is also returning to coal, the most carbon-heavy of fossil fuels. All this while the northern hemisphere swelters through a summer of extreme heat. More than 100 million Americans are under heat alerts as a heat wave spread further and further afield. They are forced to stay home or seek air-conditioned venues until the heat passes. Germany has had its hottest day of the year. Greece is literally putting out fires around its capital. Countries committed to fighting climate change are being concerned into pushing the issue to the backseat as Russia's war exacerbates a global energy crunch in the cost of living crisis. And ironically, the climate crisis is worsening energy shortages in a vicious cycle. Extreme heat is causing some power plants to buckle, forcing blackouts even in homes that rely on air conditioning to keep temperatures tolerable. That's it for today. Thank you and see you in the next videos.